So this is walking into the room, room 300. Of course you have to put your key into the light switch in order for the lights to work. Something that seems to be pretty common over here in Europe. So these are the, the closets. You have some drawers, your safe of course, hangers, you extra blankets. Close this. And you have more shelf space hangers. Awesome backpack. Straight ahead, you walk into the bathroom. Of course, you have the sink. They don't have a pee trap. <laughs> this is a blow dryer, I'm guessing. So you pick it up and it automatically comes over. Never seen one like that before. Boom, now it's off. It's on, it's off. On, <laughs> off. This is the shower. This is the, um, the second time I've seen one of these with the half door. That's kind of dangerous, but hey, whatever works for them. Looks like there's a jetted tub. Shower head, removable shower head. I recently found out what this is. That's an alarm in case you fall and they can't get up. They have the double toilets. Well, the toilet in. I still don't know what that thing is called, but from what I found out, it's for women. Then there's a nice balcony. So this is a room. Double bed. A lot of space on the floor. Break dancing here. Little sitting area. It's raining right now. There's a balcony, which so far, you know, seems pretty good. That's, I think, I know I saw RVs over there, but I think that's a part of their national park. This is covered parking down here. I see a bunch of bikes that all look the same. I think you can rent those. I'm gonna go find out shortly, even though I'm not about to ride in the rain. And that's a neighboring hotel. I'm not sure if that's new or renovated. It looks really nice. I think these are apartments or condos. And then this building over here is um, undergoing some construction right now. So this is where I am in Portugal, loving it. <laughs>